Feliz Navidad! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Come down to Roots and support your local artists. And have a nice drink and some good food! Alright, well here we are today with Kelly Rieger. How you doing? Good. And she is having a show today and a cold weekend. It's the last day at Roots uh, Bar and Grill. And um, so Kelly, what are, like, what's some of your inspiration in becoming an artist? Um, well, I went to college for art, right. but it wasn't until I moved to Rincon that I was super inspired to paint the ocean and the beautiful scenery that I see around here. The beaches, the, the beautiful botanical plants, the beautiful women. There's so many stunning women around here. And kind of just bringing it all together, I started putting more paint on the campus and I had a blast with it. And that was about nine years ago. Wow. So, so you've been here nine years then? Yeah. Wow. What were, the, what were your styles before you moved here? A lot more graphic design, more computer work. I worked for some magazines and things like that. And I started painting waves, and I loved it. And when I moved here, I was like, "Wow, this is really what you're I want to keep doing." Yeah, I mean, you're surrounded by the beauty of Mother Nature, and it's it's an amazing thing to try to capture and learn about water and learn about the reflections of it, the way it changes your body. And, yeah, you know, it's so fun. To paint. I, I love the way the waves are captured. You get that. It's, um, it's like surreal, but also very real. Yeah, like, yeah. It's nice to find that combination of capturing what nature looks like, but also using your expression and creativity to put your own take to it. Yeah. So, are you coming to home or are you traveling? Yeah. Or? yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This is home, and yeah, I just want to keep creating art for people around here and hoping to do more public art so that I can do large-scale things oh. that will bring some environmental matters to, to the public eye. And what are some of the um, murals that you have here in Rincon or anywhere that we could... Yeah, uh, I think you have the one on the, the realtor. Yep, Island West Properties is my biggest mural. I did that about a year and a half ago. And I'm hoping to do more large-scale things like that. Primarily, I've been doing residential work lately. Uh, but I'm keeping my eye out for a big wall somewhere to do my next project. So if anybody has any ideas, that's really <laughs> awesome. That'd be great. Uh, anything that you'd like to share with people? Where can we find your art? Uh, uh, well, my website is kellymeager.com. And I also sell at Ocean State of Mind. They have all of my prints. And I do a lot of design work for various businesses around town. I really enjoy helping small businesses take take their look, their brand to the next level. So you can see a lot of my art. So you're kind of taking your your origins of graphic design and combining it with your passion for art. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Anything I can do to express myself and to help others express themselves in their businesses, it's, it's a pleasure to work with others to bring their ideas to life. So awesome. It's great. <laughs> What's your favorite medium? Is it acrylic or oil? Primarily oil. I've been doing oil for the past six years, and the fact that you can work it for so long and get those smooth, takes buttery water, skin right? tones. And, and yeah, it gives me the opportunity to step away from an image, take a break, and then come back, and everything's still wet, and you can keep working it and just do some really fun things with that. Create the depth of field with blur and then like extreme detail. And it's just fun to work with. That's so cool. Yeah, it's nothing. Can you tell us about the. Uh, I like what you were saying about how you can make oh my these. Machetes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing these for a number of years. They're hand painted real machetes on metal. And the fun thing about these that I love is they mount onto magnets. So you mount the magnet on the wall and then they essentially just click right onto the wall. But I've been doing these for a long time. I always want to do Puerto Rican imagery on them. It's typically plants. I did a couple that are avocados. I did some that are like fish that they catch, big game fish. Right. Um, a lot of bomba dancers, roosters. I'm doing one right now that's a bull. And it's just fun. It's a big part of the Puerto Rican history and culture. And, yeah. and I'm, I'm not Puerto Rican, but I, I love it here. And I love everything that their culture represents. And, and my way of kind of giving home. Exactly. And, and loving their culture and right. just doing my own thing to show off a part of Puerto Rican culture. You know? it's, they've been really popular. This is uh, one of 16. It's the only one I have left right now. So, right. I mean, they're yeah, great. Like the long ones, the machetes, but they're all I really 
stick to this size because they're a bit wider. It's a difficult composition because it's so long and narrow. Right. So I like this one. It doesn't have any grooves in it or anything. And it's a really intimate experience of painting these because they sit in my lap while I paint. Oh. And I really like snuggle with the machete yeah. and sit and paint. And, and it's fun. By the time I'm done, I never want to sell them. Right. <laughs> my baby. My machete. Oh. <laughs> But you know, that's part of the business, is creating things and putting them out into the world right. for others to enjoy. So, well, I'm so proud it's a of you, Kelly. Oh, thank you so much. Good you guys job. are awesome. <laughs> <laughs>